let's say that you narrowed the exploration down to a field. Uh, what I would strongly recommend then is to go talk to people who actually do this type of work. Now, the, the nice thing about, about computers, it, it gives you general ideas, but the ideas may not be realistic in terms of the, this area. And so talking to people about what it is that you, they actually do is really helpful. So uh, the first page, the informational interviewing page, it gives you step by step an idea of what it is that you, you will be doing on the informational interview. So the informational interview is basically you're asking them questions about their job. Now what sort of things would you like, to, if you were talking to, uh, let's, let's say a policeman, what type of questions do you think you would ask them? Okay. Like All right. Um, anything about hours? About you. Okay. If you enjoy with your job. Okay. Uh, if it cuts into your, you know, with our exploration of things that we need on the job, you may want to turn those into questions also and say, how how much time do you spend at home versus with uh, with with the patrol and things like that. Now, so, so this type of thing helps you to better understand what does this person do for work. Now, the interesting thing is this person may do something different than somebody in another town. So if you can get a wide range of exploration talking to people. The scary part is talking to people you don't know, and, but it is, that is the most uh, beneficial way to, for you to find out, is this what I thought it was? Okay, so um, let's turn the page. Here's a whole pile of questions. And what I recommend that you don't do is ask them all. So you would ask maybe four or five. And so what you would do is you would call somebody up and say, uh, you have been recommended to me by so and so to, to ask you uh, some questions about what you do. Uh, I'm, I'm still undecided. And so I wondered if you could give me some time and help me to better understand what it is that I could do. Now, if you were going into a hospital, and let's say you're going to human resources, and who would you ask to see? Human resources tends to look over the, the kind of the business end of the hospital, uh, the people end. Uh, who might you like to talk to? How about a nurse? Would you want to talk to a nurse? Okay. And so you may want to talk to a, a head nurse who has the ability to oversee people and gets a really good idea what goes on, on the floor. Now, if you were a nurse, and we're doing what if now, if you're doing, uh, going to be a nurse, uh, what type of specialty might you want to go into? General nursing or maybe pediatrics? Pediatrics, okay then definitely you're going to go into a hospital that specializes in, in the little ones. Okay. And in that way, take your list of questions and pull out four or five that you feel might be useful in, in finding out about a pediatrics. Now, one of the things that we, talk, we will t need to talk about is how long do you want to go to school? You want to, do you want to go to school for many, many years? Okay, so maybe criminal justice, let's, I'm doing a what if here. Criminal justice, would you then do two more years at, let's say, UMass? Okay, so maybe four is comfortable for you? Okay, how about your niece? Pardon? Six. Six, okay. So you would get your four years and then two more as a master, with the masters maybe? Good, okay. So obviously the more education you have, the more credibility you have, and the pay is probably a little bit better too, and that always helps. So, and also in these two fields, you're always upgrading your skills. Uh, you will, both of you will be, would be learning a lot about computers uh, because there's a lot of information on computers. So one of the three that you have to deal with in your job would be processing the information and also maybe good computer skills. 
being able to, to use all the types of programs that are necessary in that department. Now, if you were going to look over these questions real quick, pick one. This is the informational interview. Now turn the page right there. There you go. Can you pick one that you, you think you would particularly like to know about? What special advice would you give to a person entering the field? Excellent. Excellent. What special advice would you give to somebody just starting out in the field? Um, and in that way, you, it really does narrow things down. Is this for me or not? Yeah, and that's really a nice one. Uh, if you were, if you were th being that person, what types of things might you talk about to, to the person who's on the informational interview? If you kind of switch, switch roles here. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. How does it affect me personally? Yeah, definitely. Uh, because basically that's what it boils down to. And so, again, you're always asking yourself, is this something I want to do full time? How will it affect me? And so, uh, Denise, what, what type of question do you think you would ask? Number two. Number two. What training? Ah, yeah, because in the medical field, obviously, um, it's not based on good looks, is it? <laughs> it's based on what you can do for them. So in the nursing, let's, again, I'm going to tap on nursing, but you may not want to go into that area. But in the nursing, what, out of the three, the people, data management, technology, do you like about the nursing? Technology and people. Ah, technology and then people, in that order? Yeah. Okay. So you might be learning different techniques and helping people. Let's say that you went into occupational therapy. Okay. Then you would use different ways of helping the person who's hurt themselves. Uh, definitely people skills. And then information, anything in the medical field and anything in, in the field of law, you, you are documenting everything you say and do. Okay, so both of you have picked, a, picked some areas that uh, I hope you like to write because, <laughs> because it, is, it is something where it always comes back to you in, in the, from the past. Uh, what did I do? And I don't remember it. So if you have good, have good documentation of everything that you do, you can always remember this. So, so just know in those two fields, there is a lot of data management or, or documentation. Uh, definitely people, both of you are going to be, in a sense, you're going to be in charge of people. You're going to be helping people. And it's getting your ideas across to uh, what can I do for you to help you through this. Uh, so it's, it's an interesting area of looking at yourself in which one of these do I want to do, do the most of. Uh, if you don't like people, you should stay out of both of your fields <laughs> because you deal with a lot. Let's, let's talk about that subject. If you don't like, particularly like people, what fields might you get into? A lot of fields do, yeah. Uh, very, very few times are you in the basement all by yourself all day long. And so this is the more people skills uh, we have. And could either of you describe some of the people skills that you have? Think of your family. How do you relate to your family? Inside jokes, yeah, good sense of humor, yeah, def very, very necessary, actually for both fields. Uh, you're dealing with people going through tough times, so definitely having a good sense of humor. Uh, how about the whole area of listening? Yeah, yeah. And I was just reading an article the other day on listening is not talking back. It's, it's talking with somebody about whatever they have a, have a question about. So you're, you're listening to what they have to say and replying based on that information, not on your own stuff. Uh, usually we're, we're, we're waiting for our chance to talk, and that's it. <laughs> so as a nurse, as a police officer, or anybody in, anybody in the medical field, it's paying attention 
to that person and what do they need. Um, and in the end, it works out because you get more information that way. Okay. So uh, any other questions that you might pick? Mm. Mm -hmm. And this is where you can start with the MASSCIS, but talking to people in the actual field, you might ask, what is the starting salary? Uh, you're not going to ask them what they make. <laughs> but because, but, yeah. but t talk to them about how, does, how, how much does a person make when they just start out. I would also be careful about that question. Put it kind of at the last, so it's not the first thing you want to know, but it's kind of the last. Denise, what would you, what kind of questions would you choose? 16. Okay, 16. From your perspective, what are the problems you see in this field? Good one, good one. Uh, why, and why would this be an important question for you? How would this help you in deciding, is this for you or not? <laughs> OK. Nick, you have any thoughts on that one? Knowing what are the problems, what will that help you with? How do decide? Yeah, do I want to do this? Yeah. yeah. Sometimes the problems are things that you absolutely love to do. It's just somebody else's problem. And sometimes the problem is, oh, I, I, I didn't realize I had to do that. Yeah. Uh, I have students coming in who want to get into nursing, but they don't like blood. <laughs> and, or even in, in, in uh, the, the law enforcement, if, if, you, if you don't, if you do, do mind blood, you may be in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Because it, it's a very, it's a difficult field for both areas. So, Knowing what it is that you're going to have to get into, you're always asking yourself, and can I do this? Can I, is, will this bother me so much I can't do it? Or is it something I can learn to live with? That type of thing. Denise, have you ever given a shot? OK. Would, would you be comfortable doing that? Yeah. OK. And a good answer. <laughs> I'm, I'm narrowing it down on nursing, but it may not be in that area at all. But it's something where what, if, I, if I cannot give shots, it might be, might be an area to stay out of it then. Uh, so it's, could you, could you handcuff somebody and, and, and take them to jail? Probably if it came down to it. OK. okay. So n necessary training would be important, huh? Yeah, all the, all the little p parts that go into it. So these are really good questions. Again, don't use them all, but pick out a few that you feel are important and talk to the person. You want to talk to the person who is in a position to look at you seriously. And at the very beginning, you, you might say, because uh, they get afraid, they say, well, I'm not hiring right now. You can say, I'm not interested in being hired. I just want, I want some information because I'm kind of mixed up about what a person really does in this area, and I'd like to know more about it. So this helps you to kind of get going. Now, go all the way to the bottom of the page, number 20. And the question is, who do you know that I should talk to next? Now, why do you want to do that? To get more information. Bingo. Right, right. So let's say the whole medical field and the whole uh, area of criminal justice is something different in different towns or depending on the t specific job. So you want to talk to as many people as you can in different areas of work just to be sure that this is what, what I want. Or I like that environment, I don't like this environment. So checking things out by talking to different people, really, really helpful. Number one, it then helps to weed. And number two, it helps you to uh, put, your, put yourself in somebody else's mind. So when you're ready to job hunt, you can write to them and say, I really appreciated uh, the, my time with you. Would you know of, of types of openings in your field? And sometimes they do remember you, which is nice. The very last thing you do when you finish talking with somebody on an informational interview is what? 
when you go out to your car or you go home, what do you do? Shake your hand. Pardon? Shake your hand. Yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. Shake the hand. Good handshake is very, very important. What's next? Say thank you. Say thank you. Then, with that thought, when you go home, write a thank you note. Yeah. I don't think, e most of us don't write thank you notes. No. It's a lost skill. And yet, if you write, and it doesn't have to be fancy, it's just some, some, you can go to a, a store and pick up some cards or something, and it's just thank you for the time that you spent with me. I appreciated the information. It, that's it. And what happens when that person receives it? They feel good, and you want them to feel good, because then if they feel good, they've got you in their mind attached to feeling good. It's a good thing to do. Okay, uh, and it's happened to me several times when I've gone on informational interviews that they have called me back and said, I don't know if you're still interested in this, but there's a job opening on such and such a place. So sometimes they get back to you again, but this is just a nice thing to do uh, in terms of, of uh, whatever you're interested in, weeding it out. 